guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a massive, pretty much fully ASOS haul. Um, this stuff I've collected over maybe the last month or so. And yeah, let's just get started with the video. The first two things are dirty, so I'm just going to get them out of the way. The first one is this ASOS um, oversized peplum top. If you guys have been watching my videos, I have spoken about these before. These are the most comfortable tops in the entire world, and I use them as, like, casual basics. So I picked up another one of these in grey. So now I have four of these. And the other one that is dirty is this uh, top from ASOS. It's like called the Godet Peplum or something. And it's in this blue grey colour. Sorry, it is so creased. It has been in the bottom of my washing pile. That's why I'm getting them out of the way. So it just looks like this and it's got this cool like asymmetrical hemline thing and the colour's really pretty and I just thought it was quite fresh and it'll look nice coming into autumn winter but also for spring and it's really comfortable. The fabric is beautiful. So I really, really love this one. The next clothing piece is the same style as all my other casual ones, but it's in a different fabric and it's a bit fancier. And it looks like this, so it's like um, the same style but with a sort of crepe fabric base. And why I got this is because sometimes I just feel like I need something su still super, super casual and to wear like day to day. But I still want to look a little bit more put together and I just thought this was a nice like mixture of that. Um, it's very, very see-through at the top though. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's very see-through material at the top. But I still really like it and I'm glad to have something a little bit like in between dressy and casual because I don't have much of that so I'm happy with this and the next one is something really really different for me from what I usually wear and it is a um, baseball top style peplum so it's still a peplum I wear a lot of peplum style stuff um, but it's in like this baseball tee style um, I really really love wearing this actually I didn't think I would love this as much as I do but I'm really obsessed with this like sporty kind of um, and feminine mix. See like how it's feminine at the bottom. So I've really been enjoying this and I'm thinking about getting maybe a couple more things in this like um, style because yeah it's a nice little twist on what I usually wear so I've been loving this one and you would have seen I've worn a few of these in videos so you've probably seen them before. So that is actually all of the clothing out of the way. Now we're going to move into accessories. Starting with this beanie which is from New Look. It was originally $7.99 uh, pounds, so what's that, like $14 Australian or something like that. I paid like $2 for this, it was so cheap. I am the least beanie wearer person you've ever met, like, I've never ever got into beanies, but I really wanted to try it out, and I thought, what a better way than with a metallic blue beanie. Um, this looks so ridiculous on me, like, I'll show you. I just really do not think I can wear beanies like I don't know I feel like it makes my head look really big or just I don't know it just doesn't suit me but I thought it'd be nice to have a beanie in case I go camping or do something a little bit more I'm gonna take this off because I look really weird do something a little bit more outdoorsy I thought it'd be nice to have in my collection it was in like I think it was about three dollars so it was really inexpensive and the other hat I got is also, well it's not really a hat, um, is a bit more on the crazy side and it is this like um, Russian style black Cossack hat and it looks like oh, this on me, it's quite snug to my head but this on the other hand I love. I have wanted a Cossack style hat for a really really long time, I really want a like um, natural brown rabbit fur kind of color one with like the different colors white and brown and gray but this was on sale and it's super cute it fits really well and I really enjoy this so thumbs up if you like these style hats I don't know if I'm like the only one that is like super into them but I'm loving them at the moment so I got this one Next up is my little delve into the tartan trend that is a huge thing at the moment and it is this amazing scarf so it looks like this. It is huge. It is so fluffy and big and amazing. And I just love this. Um, I think this is going to be great in winter, especially when I'm out and about because it's so warm. It's basically like wearing a blanket. Like, oh, it's so snuggly. And also, it's really good. It's all twisted. It's really good um, to put over your hair, like if it rains, because a lot of my coats and stuff don't have hoods. So it's really nice to put over your hair to protect you from the rain. We're going to have a mild break from the ASOS stuff uh, for the moment just because I want to show you two things that I got from Colette. Now, I've already worn these in videos and I feel like I've shown them as well, but um, I thought I'd show you again these necklaces. This is a um, 
like pink rope and silver jeweled pieces necklace which is really really nice and this other one is a antique gold uh, clear uh, apricot and baby pink stoned very feminine necklace I just wanted to show you these because I didn't think I included them in a haul I can't really remember but um, I thought I'd just chuck these in again because they're really pretty and these are still available in some Colette stores so I wanted to chuck these in the next thing I picked up is my iPhone case which I am just in love with I oh it's a bit smudgy um, it's basically like a rose gold case for your phone, which I'm super happy with. I hadn't had a case on my iPhone for maybe about five or six months, and I just wanted something slim and pretty and slightly feminine, but still with a little bit of an edge to it. My hair has just lost the plot now. Um, so I picked up this one. I'm really, really happy with it. I was a bit worried about this, probably the most out of everything that I've bought, because uh, metallic phone covers tend to be made out of a like material that has been painted in a uh, golden paint sort of thing or a metallic paint but this is actually like sealed into the plastic so it's hardly like it has scratched a little bit but nowhere near as bad as I thought it would and it still looks really nice even though I've had it on my phone for over a month so really happy with this and it just it's so shiny and pretty so I'm really I love this I can't get over it I look at it every day and I'm just like I really like you at the moment and the last item before we get into shoes is this, which is my new wash bag. Now, this isn't strictly um, fashion, but I wanted to include this anyway. Basically, this is a pony fur um, and leather wash bag with metallic paint spatters all over it. And then it's lined with a nice, like, wipeable you're not even going to be able to see their wipeable fabric. Um, it's nice and boxy and square. It's not heavy. It's got nice little pockets on the sides. Uh, the zip goes both ways. I really, really like this now. Um, these were originally, I think, around the $80 mark, which is ridiculous. Like, if you're going to pay $80 for a wash bag, what... Like, I don't know how anyone could justify that, but these are on sale at the moment. This was marked down, and I believe I paid about $30 for it, which is still very, very expensive for a wash bag, but I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm super in love. It stores so much of my stuff, and I hated my old one, which I had made myself, like I sewed it myself uh, when I was about 14 or 15, maybe a little bit older than that, but um, yeah, I just really love this at the moment and it just really is me and I'm really inspired to just have nicer things to store things in if that makes any sense so yeah really really happy with this one I would highly recommend these designs they're so well made it's amazing now moving into shoes I've got four pairs of shoes which actually just turned up today so I'm really really excited with these I haven't actually worn any of them out of the house I have tried them on and stuff they all fit um, so the first pair is not strictly technically a shoe it's an UGG style it is by River Island and I don't know what these are called um, the Lila Fass and these are in a UK 6 so they look like this basically they are a um, almost metallic black finish on the outside and then a nice soft fur on the inside they have the River Island label on the back and they have a really really thick sole now the reason that I purchased these is one they were super super reduced I think I paid about $15 for these they weren't expensive at all um, but I don't have any Ugg boots or slippers or anything like that now that I live in a double story house the whole bottom floor is timber floorboards um, I feel like I need some like inside shoes if that makes any sense my feet are getting quite cold I never used to wear socks and now that I've got a much bigger space I definitely feel like I need them plus the thick sole means I can actually wear these outside which trust me I'm not gonna wear them like to the shops or anything like that but um, if I want to just duck out of my house, like the rubbish bin or my letterbox, which is only just just down there, it's not far, um, sometimes I have to put on like proper boots, like my ankle boots that have a heel on them, and I just, I just can't be bothered with that a lot of the time, and so I just think these will be really, really great to have um, as inside shoes and for going out to the rubbish bin and stuff like that. So I really, really like these. Also, they're very short. Um, a lot of Ugg boots tend to be a little bit higher, which... Um, I find hit my leg on a really really funny place so I like that these are quite low because then they don't sort of rub against my leg so yeah really really happy with these these are like exactly what I was after 
The next shoe is a very standard looking Chelsea style boot. These are from the brand Truffle from ASOS, but I know nothing about the brand Truffle. All that I think is they're like quite a um, cheapish brand, not like a super high end brand and stuff like that. I don't know much about them though. Um, basically these were on like super, super reduced sale and I needed a pair of Chelsea boots that didn't have a heel that were going to be comfortable for everyday use. I could just pull them on. I didn't really care if they got a little bit dinged up because um, I didn't really want to spend like, you know, $150 or something plus on a pair of shoes that I just wanted to wear as everyday boots. If I wanted to walk around in the mud, I could walk around in the mud. So that's why I picked these up. They are very, very light, which I'm really happy about because I get a lot of shoes that are very heavy and weigh my feet down. Um, they fit really well. The stretch in the um, like gaped bit on the sides is really, really nice. And they're just nice to walk in. I walked around my house for a little bit in these and they feel really nice. They look like that and yeah, super inexpensive, but I will keep you guys updated on how the actual soles and stuff last because like I said, I think this is quite a like bargain type brand, but I'm not entirely sure. If you know, let me know down below. The next pair is kind of the opposite to that. They're also like, I guess, Chelsea style boots or ankle boots, but they're a little bit more blingy. They look like this. I haven't done up this buckle for you, which I really, really should have been prepared and done that up for you, but basically that's a buckle. It looks really pretty there. Um, these are, again, from River Island, and I don't know if I have the name of these. I can't read what they're called, but um, I know that a lot of people have spoken about these. They're really, really cool. The cutout is in a nice place. Um, they come up a reasonable height on your leg. The zipper detail is really nice. The gold that runs around the heel is nice. There's just, they're nice shoes, just in general. Um, I also like where this actually hits me on the back of the foot doesn't rub or as far as I can tell so far it it didn't feel like it was going to rub so um that's a big thing for me because I get a lot of shoes that rub on the back of my heel so I'm really really happy with these and they're super pretty and just something a little bit different it's also nice to have like a dressier pair of shoes that don't have a high heel because a lot of my shoes have um not like super high heels but a bit of a heel on them where it just makes them a little bit more uncomfortable to walk in so I'm excited to see how these wear in um I'm a little bit concerned that once these look a a little bit more worn they might not look as nice but they may surprise me and look even prettier so I'm really happy with those and the final pair of shoes and the final thing for this haul that I picked up are these amazing shoes from ASOS again basically they are a black patent white matte leather um, leopard print fabric with a stretchy material on the side shoe with a brown sole so that's <laughs> how I can describe them they're in a loafer style which is quite a man style loafer they're not um, a super feminine shape but I really really like that they're bulky but they're not like super bulky where they kind of look like boots uh, and I just I really really like these now I will say one of them seems to be a tiny bit smaller than the other across the actual band it's a little bit tighter on my foot but I wore these for about an hour today to try and break it in and it definitely felt like it was loosening up so that will be interesting to see how they go but I'm really happy with these I didn't actually own any flat shoes that I was wearing I was only wearing boots or sandals so I really really needed something like this just for everyday wear because it's so annoying when I just again want to duck out to the mailbox or to the shops or if I just need to run to the post office that I didn't have something that I could just slip on like everything that I owned I needed socks for so that's why I'm really excited to have these in my life and I just think they're really pretty and also it's a bit of a dalliance into leopard print shoes for me I've never owned leopard print shoes so I'm excited to give these a go so that is that guys I hope you have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below telling me anything that you recommend to buy at the moment because I'm in a bit of a shopping mode if you have not realized um, yeah, I'm sorry that the lighting has gone a bit brighter now. The sun has come out from behind the clouds, but it's not as bad as last time. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.